Yeah. So this is American Sign Language? This is there American like a, Sign Language. Is there some type of international sign language? They, each different place has their own sign language. Like you have Australian Sign Language, you have French Sign Language, which is called LSQ. Um, you have British Sign Language, yeah, there's like all different ones. You have Japanese Sign Language and Spanish Sign Language. So it's not like one universal language. They do have like an international sign language, but most people don't know it. They know the one for the country that they live in. So the international one tries to like incorporate some gestures and a couple different ways of signing everything. So hopefully you catch the most amount of people and they understand it. But really the one to learn is just the one for your country. So, And then after that, then hey, if you can like pick up some other ones. I went on YouTube and learned some like spelling and British Sign Language and Australian Sign Language, so that's cool. But for now, like most of the people that you'll meet will all use American Sign Language. So. Sign Language with an accent. Yes, everybody has their own kind of little thing, and then you incorporate in the fact that people come from all different places all over the world, or even just all over the U.S., and they'll bring in, you know, in some states, then they sign a certain word like this. In other states, they sign it like this. So you get a little bit of variation in that kind of thing, too. But for the most part, it's kind of, you know, everybody's got it. But then you also have, like, what they call home signs. So maybe at home, then you, you know, to refer to the dog, then you did this other, like, this is the dog or something. So if you go talk to somebody else and you do this, they're going to be like, that's not dog. You know what I mean? Like, but you also have, like, some of that stuff thrown in, too. Um, it just kind of depends on the person. It depends on, like, uh, when I first learned to sign, then the person that I talked to did better if I said everything with my mouth. But then a lot of other people I talked to, especially ones that don't have any hearing, and they're more just like straight ASL, not mixed in English, then you would more just do it through that and you had more facial expressions and that kind of thing and you wouldn't even bother with that. So me, I tend to. You don't have to. You don't not have to. It's kind of your just your preference. Yeah. Is that because you're hearing? Because I'm hearing, but then again, a lot of people who are deaf, then they will mouth everything that they say so you can still, it kind of helps you out a little bit yeah. by being able to see what they're signing, their facial expressions and also a little bit read their lips. You just kind of get used to something. If they just like started talking like this, you might have a little harder time being like, I really don't know what you're saying, but if they put all of it together,